So, uh, how long have you been a Jedi? Must be tough, you know. No family, no husband. Be still a moment and let me help. Hey, I wasn't trying to... Hey, what do you know? A little cargo cylinder came through. It's done. If he got the turbo lifts working, then we should have a clear run to the hangar. I suggest we move on. Wait, wait, don't tell me you're taking that hatch down into the mining tunnels. Are you? That explosion I heard came from below. There's probably nothing down there except superheated rock and collapsed blast tunnels. You'd be an idiot to go down there. Let's make this quick. You're either really brave or really crazy, or both. All right, I'll try to monitor things from up here. And be careful. The only thing moving down there is likely to be mining droids, so don't be playing hero too hard. Uh, not that I care what happens to you or anything. I just don't want to be trying to get off this rock by myself. Ha! I'll keep the comm link open. I may be able to guide you through the tunnels from up here. Don't know if the signal will hold if you get too deep, though. Yes, what have you found? I do not know. Very well. If they do not find us first, be watchful. Yes? What can I do? What did you say? Your signal's crammed with static. There's a lot of interference down there, probably caused by that explosion. Still, it looks like there's a route down to the Paragus fuel depot. If the passages haven't collapsed, that explosion knocked out most of the sensors. There should be an emergency crate in the next room. Watch yourself. There's a lot of droid broadcasts in that area, but I can't pin them down. Hmm. Maybe you're right. Will do. And be careful down there. Find the emergency supplies? Damn it. Oh, uh, I mean, good. Good to hear it. No sense in you running around half naked. It's... It's distracting. I mean, for the droids. Look, there may be some survey gear and a safety harness inside the crate, too. The miners wear them when staking claims on the asteroids. The survey gear is designed to spot and protect you against sonic mines. And the safety harness can be helpful if you try to disarm them. Yeah, it's like a military-issue energy shield, except it's designed to protect the miners against lasers and heat. Should work against the droid mining lasers. They won't last forever, and certainly not against multiple laser hits. But it may buy you some time if you get ambushed by a battalion of droids. Just equip it on your wrist, and then you can activate it like a med pack. Again, it won't last forever, so make it count. Uh, just one more thing. 
I've narrowed down some of the ID signals, and if the numbers are right, you're sharing those tunnels with a battalion of mining droids. You could, if you have the skill in a stealth field generator. These droids rely on thermal sensors, primarily to detect fuel deposits. The good thing is, that explosion down there kicked up so much heat and steam it may blind them. A bit, but not much. Well, these are construction models. They shoot like a moisture farmer militia. Since they rely on ranged weapons, get in close with a melee weapon and start bashing them. In close combat, the guy with the vibroblade has the edge over the guy with the rifle, droid or not. Otherwise, just drill them from a distance. If they're not shielded, that is. Yeah, it's possible some of the droid models may have mining shields on. If so, the shields may absorb laser fire. You can usually tell when a shield is active. It'll make an electrical field around the target. If they activate a shield, the best thing you can do is hit them with a melee weapon or try to burn out the shield with continual fire. But that could take a while, and it leaves you a target. There's gotta be some central controller down there. See if you can find a terminal by the main access shaft. That'd be governing intelligence.
not win. Here. What's up, Kurda? We're supposed to be sinking fuel siphons into the 3218 asteroid shelf right now. Forget the siphons. You know that survivor they pulled from the freighter? One of the miners said they served with her on Malachor 5. Malachor 5? So she's one of the survivors. Or worse, a Mandalorian. So what? Not a survivor, idiot. She's one of the Jedi from Malachor 5. If she's one of the Jedi? Hell, we can't have her walking around here. She'll... Well, I don't know what she'll do. I thought all the Jedi were wiped out in the Civil War, weren't they? Guess they missed one. But it gets better. I did some checking, and that bounty on Nar is still live. What? You want to sell the Jedi to the Exchange? Korda, have you been chewing spice? Look, you know how big that bounty is? That Jedi's our ticket off this rock. Korda, there's no way the officers will go for that. They'll lock us up for sure. Then we'll improvise. I shall move unseen. So be it!
I'm doing no damage. That one's out of the way. doing no damage the containment fields in the mining tunnels are shutting down you need to get out of there before they vent fuel to the surface of the asteroid through the tunnels hmm. maybe you're right i may be able to keep it contained until you get the turbo lift to the fuel depot but not for much longer i'm locking down the turbo lift to the administration section now to keep the blast from spreading if you've got anything left to do down there make it quick because where you are is going to get real hot real soon Move on.